What's up guys? Sonny the Badger here coming to you from the Badger's Den on this beautiful day. And uh, today's Fix It Yourself project is it's on the silver bike right there. So uh, the other day I was headed down the highway and uh, I popped over a bridge. I mean out of nowhere the bike just started spitting and sputtering and, and like it was out of fuel and uh, I pulled over and, and I actually had this happen to me before but um, the first thing I thought of was it was the fuel pressure regulator um, they have a little plastic housing in there which I'll show you later in this video and those can break um, and uh, when they do they basically spray fuel in your fuel tank and uh, it doesn't give you enough fuel pressure and it makes your bike run like crap so one quick way to check on um, that plastic housing is if you'll take your gas cap off of your gas tank and look down in it as you cycle the fuel pump, uh, you'll actually see it spraying in the, in the fuel tank. Uh, and it's not supposed to do that. So if you see that spraying, then you know that you've got an issue up there. And I knew that I needed a new pressure regulator housing. And uh, so I bought one. Uh, while I'm there, I'm also going to do the fuel filter. And uh, this video is uh, going to show you guys how to do that. So another thing I want to add here, guys, is I am not a Harley Davidson technician. Um, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic by any means. Uh, I used to be an automotive technician, but um, I'm a guy that uh, likes to work on his own stuff. Uh, has, uh, of course, the internet and uh, the repair manual for the bike. So, you know, I try to do as much stuff as I can um, by myself. And then, of course, I like to do videos and share that with you because uh, if you're like me, uh, you like to work on your own stuff. So, guys, enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please like it, share it, um, subscribe to our channel, and, uh, of course, tell all your friends about it. But let's get to work. All right, guys, so we're going to work on what I affectionately call silver. This is uh, my main squeeze bike uh, with almost 80,000 miles on her. She has been a really great bike. So um, well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're gonna wanna pull off the negative battery cable. And then next, your fuel pump is actually underneath here. So we're gonna have to take this off. In order to do that, there's a screw here. There's a bolt here, and then of course you've got your little trip button over here on the left. So you got to remove those three things. Once those are out of the way, um, then you can get down to um, the screws that actually hold your fuel pump into the tank. So let's get busy. All right, guys. So let's get this thing taken out. We're gonna take this bolt out, this nut off first. And the washer, maybe. There we go. Gonna unscrew the cover on this. And then there's a bolt right there. It also needs to come out. Like so. This piece now is ready to come off. Each person's gonna do their own thing here. I personally don't take, you just pull this up. I wanna miss that washer there. All right, just pull this up and off. And then I just take it and set it off to the side personally on a rag. Makes it a lot easier to go back together. 
and then I don't know if you guys can see it or not but right there is the plug-in and then of course your fuel pump is right underneath that cover So, underneath here is your fuel pump. You can see you've got all these screws around this to take off. And then this can just pop out so that you don't knock it off as you're doing this. So, let's get this all pulled off. All right, she's loose and ready to come out of there. So, I whether you can see that or not, but right there is a hose clamp. That hose clamp's gotta come off. Um, that is uh, basically your feeder hose. So we'll get that unscrewed and then get this thing pulled out. Uh, you're not going to want gas all over your tank, so I cover my tank with a rag. Grab me a flat blade screwdriver here. Pull this up where I can see it. And there she is. Just need to pop that off. It's off. Let that drain into the tank. All right. Then you just have to battle with it a little bit. Oh, here we go. See, there's that gas dripping onto the... And she's out. There she is. Doing it with a emptier tank of fuel is advised, but I didn't have that luxury, so I did it with almost a full tank. All right, guys, so once you get your fuel pump assembly out of the bike, um, I actually have mine in an, oil, in an oil drain pan that's been all cleaned out. Uh, that keeps gas from getting all over my work area um, and it keeps it captured within here. But um, just so that you can see the different pieces here. So um, you got your fuel filter, your fuel pressure regulator, and then down here at the bottom, um, that is your fuel pump.
a pretty simple thing. And then um, your fuel sending unit. This is basically what tells your gauges if you've got full gas or empty gas. So, um, but that's basically the pieces to it. So, in order to remove the fuel filter um, and the fuel pressure regulator, it's pretty simple. You just pop this off here. up like that, then this piece actually slides out of the way, and then you just pull it out. So there it is, your fuel filter and your fuel pressure regulator. Then this housing here tends to have difficulties and can break. Um, I've heard of it more than once, and uh, it basically lets fuel spray out of here, and it'll make your bike spit and sputter and run like crap. So. Um, that uh, is, is good to know because, I, like I said, I've had it happen a couple times. Um, and then your fuel pressure regulator is plugged into this plastic thing. Um, and then these two just plug together. Inside of here, there is an O-ring, so you'll want to replace that. And then, uh, of course, your fuel filter is hooked in line um, with your fuel pump. Pretty simple. Let's get this changed out. fuel pump from Quantum Fuel Systems. I get this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the video for you guys in case you're looking for a fuel pump for yours. Um, and I just got the simple kit. So it comes with the rubber boot, the two straps, the pickup filter, the fuel pump, and the hose. So pretty simple. We're going to get her installed and see how she works. Alright guys, so the install is just the opposite of taking it apart. As you can see here where the fuel pump mounts, there's two little notches. That's where your zip ties basically run around the fuel filter, um, the fuel pump, sorry. And then, uh, like I said, just the opposite, so let's put it back together. Alright, so that little clip there. That clip was a mother to put on there. So what I eventually did was I got it started with my hands and then I took a socket. I put the socket that would fit the same size as that little clip and then I took a hammer and tapped it to get it into place. So that would be my little tip. Get you a little socket like this and you can knock that into place. So now it's on there good and solid. Alright, so then of course it comes with a little rubber boot. We want to put that rubber boot over the pump. And then of course we want to zip tie it into place. And of course you want to snip off the extra. Alright, fuel pump's in place. Just put the fuel filter and all. Make sure that you plug the fuel pump back in. I'd hate to see you get it all back in the tank and then realize that, hey, I didn't plug it back in. together the same way we took it apart. I'll just speed this part up.
All right, let's see if she fires up. You guys might fall off when I start here. And there you go, guys. That was me replacing the fuel pressure regulator housing. The fuel filter's right there. Um, fuel pump. You guys will see it all. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our video today on how to replace your fuel pump, fuel filter, and your fuel pressure regulator. Hopefully, you got a lot of great information from this video. If you liked the video, please um, like it, share it, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then uh, click that bell icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos. Again, thanks so much for uh, watching. And remember, it's not about the destination, it's all about the ride. See you soon.